is a map of Saudi Arabia broken down by the different regions. On the right hand side, you will see different layers that Infinite Analytics has uh, brought into this analysis. So there's a population layer, then there is a food and beverage and the average monthly expenditure in different regions based on the food and beverage um, uh, based on uh, people eating out. And you can see over here, it goes from uh, a lighter color of yellow to a greater color, to a darker color of green. Uh, lighter to darker, darker is indicates greater uh, uh, greater food and beverage spends. Uh, then there are the number of households, um, universities and institutes and total number of students. So when you start to analyze the population and you understand, you start to un understand Saudi Arabia, uh, when you look at the FNB uh, spends, you'll see that the northern region of Saudi Arabia has greater spends um, as, um, as well as some of uh, these couple of locations followed by uh, the bigger regions of, um, uh, of, the, of the east as well as uh, the Riyadh area. But when you look at the number of households, what you will see is that those areas uh, which had higher uh, F&B spends um, do not have as many households, right? So you will see that the whole Mecca, Jeddah area with Riyadh these are the ones which have more population, more households, total number of households. Again, over here, darker colors indicate greater number of households. Then what we did was, because uh, the whole idea for this analysis was to analyze um, the market of Saudi Arabia for the launch of um, Coca-Cola. Um, it, it was a 180 ml bottle uh, for, um, I believe it was for one real available for one real and the whole uh, the target audience for that was uh, targeting people in universities younger generation lighter on the wallet who are, and also generation uh, the generation that is a little more uh, concerned about their um, calorific intake and stuff like that and so what we did was um, mapped out all the universities um, and, and, and educational institutes in Saudi Arabia. And you can see all these green institutes um, are all uh, different universities that we plotted onto this, onto this map and then added uh, what we call the total enrolled students. And uh, the diameter of the circle um, indicates the total number of students, um, or the average number of student population in those areas. Uh, and and so these were all added by Infinite Analytics. Now, one of the things that we did was um, asked Coca-Cola to give us a list of all the uh, all, all the soft drink outlets, whether wholesale or retail distribution outlets that they might have um, in the uh, in Saudi Arabia. And I want you to focus on this particular area. Actually, before we even get there, uh, the other one that we also looked at was built up areas. This was with our satellite um, imaging partners. What we were able to do is, uh, what you see over here is uh, what we call the built up area of a location. And if you see this red area, you will see that this is essentially the area where people live and work or sort of more developed um, uh, region of a uh, developed, developed area in that particular region. And you can see between these two universities, there is a sizable amount of uh, built out, um, and sort of a, a community or a town has been built up in this area. Now coming back to the uh, issue of, uh, or, or being able to upload the soft drink outlet. So Coca-Cola brought to us, which was the second party data um, from one of the market research firms who had the locations of all the outlets for Coca-Cola. Uh, they got us the uh, the locations of uh, soft drink outlets all over Saudi Arabia. And we will just upload that as uh, we converted those into the latitude and longitude of those of those locations and, up, and we're just uploading them onto the map. I want to take you back to that area that I had shown you. 
those two universities. You can see over here, those, there are two universities in a huge built up area and a huge population uh, supposedly living there. And you'll see that there's only one soft drink outlet, which is denoted by this blue dot that you see over here. I'm just going to remove that and you'll see that that's the soft drink outlet. So one of the, one of the basic understanding in this case was that no matter how much money you pour in marketing in this particular area, it's not going to generate the kind of sales that you would want to generate, that you would want, because um, the supply chain here is broken. There's only one fulfillment center here. So our recommendation to Coca-Cola was to go back and fix the supply chain before they went ahead and did the marketing for, um, for, for that particular uh, product. 